The Milan derby is one of the biggest rivalries in the world of football. The two San Siro clubs have brought us so many memorable encounters over the years, and are two of the most decorated clubs in the world. But at first, Milan was a one-club city, and many may not know that it was a dispute over recruitment that saw a second club emerge in Milan, which would have a huge impact on the beautiful game. This is the story of the Inter-AC split, how Milan became a two-club city. AC Milan were founded in 1899 by a pair of Englishmen, Alfred Edwards and Herbert Kilpin. Herbert Kilpin aimed to take the team straight to the top, saying, We will be a team of devils. Our colours will be red like fire and black like the fear we will invoke in our opponents. The club would immediately hit the ground running. In 1901, they would win their first Italian championship and would reach the final again the next season, losing to Genoa. They would win again in 1906 and 1907, sowing the seeds of what would become a footballing dynasty. However, soon after, Italian football was set for a revamp that would change football in the country forever. In 1908, it was announced Italy would have two national leagues. The Italian Championship would be open to teams that were only made up entirely of Italian players, whilst the federal championships would be open to all clubs. This threw AC Milan into a conundrum, Whilst they had been founded by immigrants, they were designed to be a club for Milan natives. Alfred Edwards, who was now chairman of the club, decided that AC Milan should compete in the Italian Championship, meaning foreign players would not be eligible to play for AC Milan. However, his choice was not received well amongst the board, who disagreed with Edwards, especially as there were Swiss players in their ranks who would no longer be eligible. Eventually, AC Milan would enter the federal championships, but the dispute did not end there. They would end up withdrawing from the league due to the ongoing disagreements upstairs. In the end, a crunch meeting was set up to resolve the issue, on the 9th of March 1908, in a restaurant in Milan. The meeting ended with the two sides splitting. Those that wanted Italian-only players would stick with AC Milan, whilst a group open to foreign players would become known as Internazionale Milano. The first ever meeting between the two clubs would take place in Switzerland in 1908, with AC Milan emerging as 2-1 winners. Despite the dispute over foreign players, AC Milan would enter the federal championships, and when the two clubs met, AC Milan would again come out on top, winning by three goals to two. Inter would soon have the better over their neighbours, however. The Italian system was restructured the next year, with one league for all the teams, and foreign players were allowed to join all clubs. Inter would finish joint top with Pro Vercelli and defeated them 10-3 in a tiebreaker match to become champions of Italy for the first ever time. The Italian league would be suspended from 1915 until 1920 due to the First World War, and in the first season back, Inter Milan would be crowned champions of Italy again. AC Milan would create a new home in 1926 that would become known as the San Siro. Whilst most stadiums in Italy were built for multiple purposes, this was built solely with football in mind, and the inauguration would be a Milan derby. The first ever game at the San Siro saw Inter Milan beat their neighbours by six goals to three. Inter would remain in their multi-purpose home, the Arena Civica, for many years. In the build-up to the Second World War, the fascist regime demanded that Inter change their name several times, and although they faced an identity crisis, they won the first ever Coppa Italia in 1939, as well as a fifth Italian championship in 1940. The end of World War II would lead to Inter Milan going back to their original name, and in 1947, Inter were allowed to share the stadium with their neighbours, and ever since, AC Milan and Inter Milan have remained joint tenants of the San Siro Stadium. Inter had continued to haunt their neighbours. Whilst they were experiencing a great deal of success, AC Milan were still waiting to be crowned Italian champions for the first time since 1907. But in 1951, they would win the Serie A for the first time in over 40 years. Ironically, a club that had been set back by refusing foreign players to be amongst their ranks owed this league title to the Swedish attacking trio of Gunnar Gren, Gunnar Nordhau and Nils Liedholm. The Milan derby continues to entertain, with both clubs still on a mostly even level when it comes to honours won. 
and the Derby days at the San Siro are always hotly anticipated. But one has to wonder how different football might have been had AC Milan come to an agreement on allowing foreign players to join their ranks. Milan could have been a one-club city, and the likes of Helenio Herrera, Javier Zanetti, and Jose Mourinho could all have achieved success in the black and red, rather than the black and blue. But without the disagreement, Italian football would be much weaker, with the loss of one of the greatest rivalries in the world.